What's good, my name is Michael, otherwise it's Alpha, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to record your Minecraft footage, gameplay footage, or even your desktop using Merlis Action. Now, in case you guys don't know what Merlis Action is, Merlis Action is the recording software I use for just about anything. I use it for speed shows, I use it for regular gameplay and tutorials such as this. Well, the exception is, is that I'm using OBS to record this, just so you guys could see how to install and use Action, but um, for just about anything else and all my other tutorials and any other desktop recording, I use Merlis Action. And it works amazing, trust me, and you guys will see how I'm going to use it in just a second. Now, if you guys want to get started, go ahead and pop open your web browser. I'm going to be using Google Chrome and just go to actionrecorder.com. As you see, I already have it right here. And once Action Recorder go ahead and goes ahead and loads, uh, what you're going to have to do is click either buy now or download now. If you click download now, you'll get a seven day free trial. No, 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 a 30 day free trial to use it. And then you'll have to buy it, but it'll have a watermark on it. And you guys could test it out and see how that works but um just to quickly go over the little features that it's got uh you could also record your games up to 120 frames per second record with low cpu usage you could even record directly to mp4 but i'm not going to be using that you could even get up to 20 times smaller video recording so the file sizes aren't even that huge compared to action and dx story and microphone audio commentary which is what i'm doing right now you can just commentate and it's easy to use and exporting, yeah, no, we're not gonna use that. And you could even live stream if you'd like with it. Um, so basically, what you're gonna have to do is click download now and just wait for it to, yep, yeah, I'm gonna hit keep. And we're just gonna ahead and wait for it to finish downloading. And now that action is done downloading, what we're gonna have to do is just go ahead and put it on our desktop real quick, just so I could show you guys uh, how it's done. Go ahead and right click on it and go ahead and hit run as administrator. And if my screen's black, uh, it's just asking me if, it, if I wanna make changes to my computer. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit yes. And just go ahead and hit okay because I speak English and that's the setup. Agree, agree, next, okay. Let's just go ahead and wait for this to go ahead and uh, download. And bam, action is done installing. So we're just gonna have to do is just hit finish. Let's go ahead and close this out. I don't even care about the little post action thing it does. Um, what we're gonna have to do is open up action, hit yes, and wait for action to come on screen. And action's on my other monitor, but this is what it looks like right now. And it says that my trial is expired. It'll show up like this if your trial expires, but um, lucky for me, I bought action. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and paste in my serial number and it's going to be blurred out for you guys. Uh, and let me just go ahead and type this and hit activate and ba bam actions activated. Perfect. Product license to me. I'm going to hit okay. And then action should look like this. So what we're going to have to do, I'm going to teach you guys how you could possibly record in 1080p 60 frames per second, 1080p 30 frames per second, 720p 60 frames per second, and 720p 30 frames per second. This could be used for anything, and you could also record in 120 frames per second if you want. That's Everything's just really up to you. You could mix and match all the settings I'm using, and it pretty much will revolve around how you use it. And it's it's great software, um, you guys will see in a second. So we're just gonna go ahead and take action, plop it in the middle, and select the recording mode for games because we wanna record games. File format, we're just gonna have to choose AVI because I like AVI, and you guys should like it too. Video size, we're gonna keep it original, but if you choose any one of these, you also could uh, have action constrain it to 720p, 1080p, but we're gonna keep it original just because we can. Video frame rate, I'm gonna put it at 60. Record system sounds, of course. Make sure to uncheck this, especially if you have an XLR mic or you have voice meter like myself. Um, if you have voice meter or an XLR mic and you have that checked, it'll have a 5.1 channel. And in case you guys don't know what 5.1 is, I just, just keep it unchecked just for the sanity of both of us. Um, for microphone, keep it on always record in case you don't want to record your microphone. That's totally up to you. Like if you're recording a speed art and you just don't want to record your sounds, it's perfectly okay. Or you just want to record your game and you want to just have gameplay instead, or you just want to uh, have a commentary or something like that. It's really up to you. Um, <clears throat> and for live, 
action live streaming. You could live stream using Merle's action and you could just go ahead and put in your stream key or any service you want to use. It's really up to you. Um, I'm not really going to be using this for Twitch or anything like that because that's what you use OBS for. <laughs> um, remote action, this is basically so you could uh, remotely start your recordings. Um, you guys could look that up yourself. I'll leave a link in the description to remote action and Merlis' website on it. Uh, audio recording, you can basically record audio with this uh, only, so if you just want to do post commentaries, you can, um, but I'd recommend using Audacity for that. Benchmarking, you can basically benchmark your games and see your performance and how your computer uh, uh, stacks up on them. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Capture screenshots, you could basically take screenshots of just about anything in game in case you don't want to use the Minecraft default screenshot key or your game doesn't have a screenshot key at all whatsoever. And you could even choose the file format if you'd like. And now for general settings. So for general settings, um, Basically, you guys could mess with these. I don't know what this is, so I wouldn't touch that. Um, <clears throat> but basically, you can mess with all these all you want, but these are my two settings that I have uh, checked. And you could even have it checked to start the application minimize of the tray. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and hit video recording settings. So video quality, I'm gonna hit normal. Bit rate, if you're using MP4, jack it up all the way to 100. Input range, zero to 255. Uh, use multi-core recording. Use this, check this if you have a quad-core processor or not, or, sorry, blah, blah, blah. if you have a quad-core processor or even a dual-core, I'd say, have this checked. Um, record and mouse cursor, definitely have this checked. Use overlay graphics, do not, do not, I repeat, do not use overlay graphics. If you have overlay graphics, um, it'd be pretty bad because if you add a graphic over it, like a face cam border or something like that, and you think it looks really dinky and retarded or awful and you want to remove it, yeah, no, that'd be really bad. You can't, you can't take it off uh, because that's how the video was recorded and you can't change the raw video. It's basically taking a picture and trying to remove it or remove something big and you really can't. <clears throat> Webcam settings. Um, basically, you can have a face cam uh, in action. And action allows you to record your face cam uh, using this software. So I'm going to have it on do not record because I don't want to record my face cam right now. I feel a little I feel a little bit like trash, but this is the webcam I have. Capture resolution. You can change the resolution if you'd like. Uh, either put it in 1280, 19, or whatever you choose. And you get to choose how big it is and the position or even to put it in 4x3 if you want and now if you click that it basically shows you a preview of how your webcam looks and this is what I look like right now I don't really look much of anything and this is if I were to record face cam or anything like this this is how it would look and I guess I could record face cam actually I'm not gonna record face cam because I'm not up for that but um yeah let's just go into our audio settings right now so for your microphone settings for your audio device go ahead and choose uh your microphone uh blah, blah, blah. and for me it's going to be voice meter output or voice meter bio and if you guys don't know or you guys want to know how to make your audio sound like this and keep in mind the microphone i'm using is a blue snowball ice this thing cost me 40 bucks if you guys want to learn how to make your microphone sound like this go ahead and click in the annotation on your screen right now um, and if you don't, just keep, continue to watch this video. <clears throat> and for system sounds, go ahead and check your speakers. And yep, check this button right here. Record microphone in a separate audio track. You can even choose the volume of your microphone, stuff like that. Do, 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 do. These are my settings. You guys can copy them as you wish. Uh, AAC, keep them system default. Uh, yep, perfect. Uh, HUD settings, da, da, da. I'm gonna have these two checked. Export settings, I don't care about this, and hotkey settings. You could basically change all your hotkeys as they are, so you could basically hover over them. Uh, yeah, that means I already have it set as delete. Um, but basically, you could uh, change all your hotkey settings and change them to how you use them. And yeah, that's basically it. 
Uh, so we're gonna show you guys how to use this in a game. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to show you guys. Um, don't forget to set where you save your video files. And to do that, just click right here and just choose a folder that you wanna save it to. If you guys wanna save it to, let's say a separate hard drive and you wanna save it to a separate folder, just do that, hit okay, and it's, it's done. You have it set and it'll save everything here. Okay, let's get to the game. So the game we're gonna be using is Minecraft and we're just gonna go ahead and hit play and wait for this to load up. And Minecraft is already on screen right now for us, so we're just gonna go ahead and, oh, I guess I can't really touch it right now. But as you guys can see, this is the little overlay you get uh, to see your frame rate and to see what you're recording at. And Minecraft is now started up, that's awesome. So let's just go ahead and put it right here. Um, I have action still on screen so you guys could see what's going on with it. But basically to start recording, let's just go ahead and head on to a server of some sort. So let's um, let's head on uh, Bad Lion, I guess. And once we go on to Bad Lion, if my internet isn't bad, if you guys wanna record your gameplay footage or you wanna record Bad Lion footage or anything like that, uh, just go ahead and head into your game and hit your recording key that you set in action. If you don't know what your recording key is, your recording key should be what you set right here and I'll tell you right here too. Um, and basically go ahead and once you're in your game, hit your recording key and you're basically recording. You're set and this is what the, re the recording process looks like. It's really nothing special and it just looks like this when you're trying to record a game. And it's really nothing crazy and I'm sorry if OBS is kinda crapping out right now because I'm recording two things at the same time to the same hard drive and I'm both recording it at 60 frames per second and I don't have a, an amazing computer, but I don't have a, a terrible computer. So when you're done recording, go ahead and press the delete key or whatever you set as your recording key and just go ahead and close out your game when you're done or continue playing if you wanna do that. Now we're gonna go over the footage that we just recorded and show you guys what it looks like. So go ahead and open up your file explorer and just go to where you save your video and our video resides here in our recordings folder, our action recorder folder. And to open it up and play it, just double click it it and bam your recording go. key that you set in action if you don't know what your recording key is what the, re the recording process looks like it's really nothing special and it just looks like this when you're trying to record a game and it's really nothing crazy and i'm sorry if obs is kind of crapping out right if you're wondering why it speeds up and slows down, it's because most average computers can't handle how big the file is and the codec is a little bit weird, but it plays fine in an editing software such as Adobe Premiere Pro and Sony Vegas. It plays just fine. So that's the recording process there for you. So if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave it a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys enjoyed about it and other tutorials you might want to see. And if you have a question, go ahead and don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. It really means a lot to me just seeing the support that you guys give and go ahead and share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, or anything that your friends might uh, see this if they want to get into YouTube and gameplay and stuff like that. But yeah, three, two, one, stay sexy. See you guys later. Goodbye.